prove you're worth keeping alive for a little while longer. I cannot stop this ship any more than you could stop the tides. Not good enough. The impotent threats of a lower life form do not sway me. I will not bend to you. I was born 600,000 years ago. I liked you a lot better when you were Ryan Kapoor. A pain in the ass sometimes, but a stand-up guy when it counted. You are friends with the one who gave up this body. He didn't give it, you took it. And all the others. My name is Zan Losa. I was born in the final days of the Age of Makhto. I am but one of many. We who took a leap of faith across the bridge of time to be reborn in these bodies. Eventually, one of you will break. You don't understand how overmatched you truly are. This craft was nothing before we imbued it with the speed required by our mission. And the Cartabia that produces enough energy to drive an entire fleet of ships like this one. But when we wake the Aphelion, we will need a fleet. The Aphelion? Only then will you understand the might of the Takan Empire. This time. And when you wake the Aphelion, what are you going to do with it? Anything we want. Come on! This goes from bad to worse unless you do what they say. <laughs> it's coming alive. He can't stop the ship. Then he will. Or we cut off his hands and use them ourselves. I reduce speed or change our heading, the others will know. First, they'll just resume course from elsewhere. Trivial matter. And then, they will come here. For you, this is a dead end. I don't know if he's telling the truth, but I don't like it. We need a new plan. He's just trying to talk his way out of trouble. Why would you tell us all this? I tell you, because I value my own life. When my fellow Scions come, and they will come, I expect you'll all act like the savages you are, and a battle once. You've all died once. I don't intend to do so again. I won't touch those controls. If you want to get us killed, do it yourselves. You fear death. There's a way to stop this ship for good. And he knows how. He just needs more pressure. What kind of pressure? We heard him. He'll talk. Trust me. That's against Starfleet protocol. You're not on a Starfleet ship. Your protocol does not apply. We take the action that will lead to our victory. Don't assume your moral code takes precedence above all others. I'm not going to torture them. Not like this. There's got to be something we can work with here. This area here? Power generation. The warp cores. It's deserted. What's this? This display shows the location of the Takan on the ship. This is where the infiltrators are. The central artery of ship systems. Sensors. Propulsion. Weapons. Doesn't seem to be working here. This is weird. Engine status. Right. The warp cores are still practically redlined. Going this fast. It'd be too dangerous to force a warp collapse by cracking one of the propulsion coils. I could rupture the hull, end up damaging the cartabula in the process. And that risks tearing a hole in space. We can't have that. However, they've supercharged the Zeldi. It still relies on existing systems. They just amplify the output? But the Takan have already interfaced with those systems. The controls will be no use. So we'd have to find a way to manually shut down the warp cores. Might not be a manual shutdown as much as it'll be sabotage. No one appears to be guarding it. 
I think I can get us there. But once we're in, do you really think you can cripple my ship? Not something I'd normally ask. But I'm coming around to it. I got this. I'm an engineer. This is my territory. Then we'll follow your lead. This plan of yours has one problem. It strands us. Left out of the fight when there is a war going on. Our fight is here. Now. This is how we do the most good. For the Empire. For the Empire. So, Carter, you didn't beam out after all. I thought you'd escaped when we boarded. I had almost hoped you'd made it off. And Nilly's there with you too, right? It's good you two are together. I know you're here, Carter. Your technology is so simple to us. You're not a fighter. I know it. You know it. That's why you're hiding. Somewhere on this ship. But the Takan Empire has so much to offer you. Think of all the knowledge lost for half a million years that you'd have access to. I know you want more from life. And I want to show you what you could be a part of. Not just the wonders you've already seen from us. In our time, we had the power to move stars. Carter, you have a thirst for discovery. In case you forgot, we were a part of something. I still am. The Federation may not be perfect, but it stands for ideals that your people clearly do not believe in. We have our own ideals. And we have our own strength. Every one of us on this crusade has fought wars more brutal and consuming than you could fathom. But I want to reach a peaceful resolution to this. Carter, we have a plan for you. And for the others, too. We don't want to have to destroy you. Oh, you think there's some sort of compromise to be had here? After all you've done? The only end of this is when you surrender. After all we've done, you can't think we give up now. We can continue this conversation in person. I'll see you on the bridge very soon. Our comm badges. She's tracking our location with them. If we have to use force to free our fellow Scions, there will be casualties. We can't stay here. And we need to disable the transmitters. Where'd you go? You don't want to talk to me? She's trying to keep you talking. I mean, I get it, but I'm trying to help you. Got it. Mine's done too. Time to hit the road. You've forgotten something. They know where we're going. Set to stun. You're not going to shoot a guy who's unconscious, are you? You keep getting in my way. We've managed this far without doing it your way. We are hardly in control of this situation. And now we have loose ends. Solve the problem of what to do with him. Let's move it. Our coordinates match the exact location where Riker met Portal 63. Unlike Riker's team, we beam down without a problem. It's quiet. Portal has to know we're here. If he won't come to us, we'll go to him. Spread out. Already gave it a scan. Dead. The whole planet feels like it's been turned to stone. 
Doctor? Commander? Keeping an eye on those Duridium levels? Good. The last thing we need are your cells destabilizing on a hostile alien planet. Anything unusual, Commander? It's all unusual, to be honest. We have precious little data on this planet, so brief was Captain Riker's visit. Anything he didn't see himself is a total unknown. We deal with unknowns all the time. Part of the job. I'm accustomed to dealing with the unknown from my station on the bridge. If I recall right, Geordi LaForge transported in here, hanging upside down. I guess we're lucky we were spared the indignity. Burn marks. The report mentioned phaser fire being redirected toward these strange crystals. It also mentioned portal calling down lightning bolts. Better keep our guards up. This is where Portal 6-3 projected his image. He was guarding this bridge. That has to mean something. We'll move forward when you're ready, Commander. Follow me. M's here. Is it me, or did that path just disappear? There was a path there a moment ago. There must be an explanation. Tetrametric pulses. Same energy as the other Takan technology. Most of the crystals appear dormant. What's different about this one? Readings indicate there's a cavity in the rock right behind it. We could try melting a hole through the wall with our phasers. Worth a try. Nothing. There's got to be a weakness. Somewhere it isn't totally solid. I'm sure that wall was as real as the rest of them. I felt it. It's almost like our holodeck technology, but far more advanced. The crystals must be absorbing the energy from our phasers. I'm picking up something. A biosignature. It's faint, but it's there. With me. Another dead end. Or another illusion. Crewman LaRue, if you would. <laughs> Duval to Resolute. Beam Crewman LaRue directly to medical. Is he okay? Yeah. He'll live. Not all crystals work the same, it seems. Don't fire your phasers at any crystals unless we're sure they're putting out the same pulses as before. Commander, I may be able to speed up the process. I can now detect many different wavelengths of radiation simply by looking. The Takan radiation is unusual, so I can't quite clear it all up, but I was able to eliminate many of the non-tetrametric crystals. Your tricorder should warn you. That's an enormous help. Thank you, Lieutenant. It's my honor.
Tetrametric. Good sign. Commander! Look at that. Trust, but verify. Indeed. We don't have any data about what's below the surface on Delphi Ardu 4. And I don't feel a particularly strong urge to find out. Then that makes two of us. I wonder if this place was always so lifeless. Good. Go see what's different. Is clear. Good work, Commander. We'll make sure it's safe. Incredible. Plants here are actually alive. Is this the biosignature you detected, Doctor? No. Not a match. Tetrametric. Then it's creating an illusion as well. Based on the data we have so far... Only one thing left to do. Doctor, be ready to beam us out if it turns out we're wrong. Deval to resident. Lock transporter on away team. this in any Federation record. The plants. Barbarians. It's 
him. How dare you disturb me? I'd hoped you had enough sense to leave of your own accord, but here you stand. <laughs> Fools. In another time, I would have destroyed you and your ship simply for setting foot in this place. Fortunately for you, that time has passed. Portal 6-3, Guardian of the Takan Empire. We've come a long way to meet you. Guardian? I am Guardian of nothing. The Takan no longer exist. I don't care to be reminded. If this is why you've come, then you should leave. Now. We need your help. My help? You're the only one we can ask. You're hiding something. Futile. The Resolute's database is being accessed. The Takan have returned? After so long, how could they? Explain. Now. Taconian technology made it possible to enable the transfer of consciousness from one being to another after physical death. We call it bioforming. A group of Taconians calling themselves Scions of the Flame used it to reawaken after hundreds of millennia. Scions of the Flame? Is something wrong? I'd hardly call them Takan. They were a radical faction with beliefs outside the mainstream. Beliefs that lesser life forms should serve as vessels to ensure Takan immortality. You want me to help you destroy them? That's why you've come. You want to destroy these scions. There is a war looming that could engulf the Quadrant. We want you to help us bring about peace before it gets to that point. Peace always comes at a cost. They have an incredibly powerful energy source they call the Cartabula. These Scions have the Cartabula. And they've used it as a weapon against us. I will speak with you alone. What are you... Where's my team? They're safe where we left them. That the Scions have stolen the Contabula is deeply concerning. And to be honest, I'd rather speak with you alone, John of Rydeck. don't know what it means to be the last of one's kind. You and I are remnants of fallen civilizations. The Kobliad, the Takan. One dying, one dead. Our species could not be more different, but we both know the meaning of loss. The others wouldn't understand. It's beyond their ability to comprehend. I see you're hurting, and I understand your pain. But pain shouldn't stop us from moving forward. You do not understand me, nor the pain I feel for the loss of our once glorious empire. Tell me, why spend your days away from your own people when so few of them are left? Why live your life working for this federation to which the Coplia do not even belong? And submit yourself to their authority? It makes no sense. Not by my logic. It's true, the Koblia chose not to join the Federation when the offer was made. And I could have chosen to stay on my home planet, waiting for the next shipment of Deridium to arrive, biding my time and fearing for the worst. Instead, I chose to embrace the future, not fear it. Joining Starfleet gave me the opportunity not just to help my own people, but countless more. 
You told Riker you'd wait until you were needed. You're needed now. We need you. As much as it pains me to learn the Cartabula has fallen into the hands of the Scions, my services are not up for offer. To be chosen as a portal was to give one's entire self to the cause of protecting the Dakon Empire. I left behind everything I know, and now you want me to turn against my own people. The betrayal of my oath, and everything I vowed to protect. These aren't the Dakon you knew. They're a facsimile. They're imposters and they tarnish the Takan name. We faced these questions in my time as well. What you call bioforming, we thought of as a marginal science. But if these reborn Takan plan to restore the Empire, is that a disaster to be avoided? Taconian technology is so advanced, it could save millions of species currently on the brink of extinction including your own. And at the price of a small few, think of how the many could benefit. Instead, it sounds as if you are reacting out of fear before you have a full understanding of what's at stake. I don't think you've given this full consideration. You may have more to gain than to lose. You told me your people didn't use bioforming. That's because you knew it was wrong. Wrong to employ on an individual basis, and surely wrong on a galactic scale. You are correct. The Takan did not use bioforming on a large scale. That the way these signs are using it would not have been accepted when the Empire still stood. I'm curious to see the science masquerading as true to con. So I will go with you, and we shall find them. But when we do, I will judge them myself as a guardian of the Takon. To understand their true intentions, for better or worse. It's certainly your right to make your own decisions. I won't tell you otherwise. Very well. I'll return. Commander! Hold your fire. I'm all right. He's coming with us. We assumed the worst. She's perfectly fine. Now then, shall we? All right. We can beam up your... Do you have any equipment or tools? Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Well, where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. 
We understand how to operate it under normal conditions. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. since we left Otari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp core ejection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. The safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. We will have to make a stand. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. We better get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom... We don't know how much damage that cartabula will do if we accidentally crack it open. Listen, the best way to make sure something goes wrong is to stress. If you mind on the job, we'll be okay. Yeah, we will. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. Now 
Now they're definitely gonna know we're down here. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Just one more to go. They're here. They're cutting through the door. We don't have much time. Okay, same as before. We just got it. Same as before. We just got it. See you on the parade grounds of Sorella.
a warp course. That's interesting. Redundancy. If one goes down in battle, we can still operate. Makes this more difficult, though. This ship can maintain warp with half the cores offline. We'll need to disable three of them. Where are the engine schematics? Power flow routing charts. We're soldiers, not engineers. I thought you would know what to do. You're in good hands. We can do this. I trust that you can. You at least know where we should start? This way. output since we left Otari space. No ship can run for very long like that. Not before a catastrophic failure hits. It's right on the edge. We just need to figure out a way to give it a push. Bet that console down there could tell us a few things. we do, we need to make sure the Takan can't undo it. So we need a way to permanently disable the reactors that won't destroy the ship and kill us all in the process. You thinking what I'm thinking? Warp core, core injection. So the question is, how do we make it happen? The reactor coolant system is operating at emergency containment levels. It's just barely keeping the temperature in check. Well, maybe we can use that. If it gets this high, their system considers a reactor breach imminent. They've locked out the controls here, too. No surprise there. I can't release it. So if we want to get the core out, we'll have to force the system to do it. Or trick it. Like we saw on the bridge, all four warp cores are operating at full capacity. Safety protocols don't look much different from the Resolute. Breach protection. Reduce output, command override. Cease matter, antimatter flow, command override. Emergency warp core ejection. Computer control. Even command functions can't override one of the most crucial safety measures. So the protocol's still active. That's good. Looks like if sensors show a core is about to rupture, the computer will eject it automatically rather than risk a breach. So we need to increase the warp core's temperatures. If we destroy the coolant regulators, there won't be anything to keep these reactors from going over. And it will trigger the ejection. Let's peel these suckers open. I'll take that one. And I'll take the one next to it. The second you two start dumping cores, the Takan will know we're here. We'll be vulnerable. Stuck in one place while you work. Start thinking about an escape plan. I have a feeling we're gonna need one. We'll barricade the door. Work quickly. We might not have our tools, but our phasers can do this in a pinch. Get this right. If we foul it up and this whole thing goes boom, we don't know how much damage that cartabula will do. Listen, the best way to make sure something goes wrong is to stress. Keep your mind on the job. We'll be okay. Yeah, we will. It's not a Starfleet warp core, but the coolant regulator has to be in here somewhere. Time to 
heat things up. Warning. Warning. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Okay. Now they're definitely gonna know we're down here. Warp core output at critical level. Ejecting core. Just one more to go. They're here. They're cutting through the door. We don't have much time. Okay, same as before. We just got it. of Sorella, my friend. You too. Calm yourself, child. It will all be better soon. Thank you. 
reclaim what was lost. You don't need to watch this. I do. I want to remember every moment when I make them pay. But this isn't the end. I will avenge Itasca. Swear to me, you will join me in this. How about we try to save her? That's a dream. As long as she's alive and her memories are still in there, there's still hope. Hope is what you turn to when you have nothing left you can do. And there's still something I can do for Itasca. And I shall. so much I want to ask you. There's so little I can tell you. I'm a portal, not a scientist, but I'll certainly do my best. I can only assume this is one of your older starships. One would think, given the importance of your mission, they might send a ship of a more recent vintage. The Resolute is primarily a research vessel, if that's what you mean. Not a warship. Although, she has been known to hold her own in a fight. Against what? Something wrong? Not at all. The galaxy has grown more diverse since the days of the Takan Empire. Because you conquered everyone who didn't look like you. To the contrary. Most lesser civilizations willingly join the Empire to enjoy the benefits of an advanced way of life. But that expansion came with its own set of problems, so... I admire your ability to diversify without creating conflict. That was always our challenge. And perhaps... ultimately our downfall. The Federation prides itself on its inclusiveness. I'd say it's one of our greatest strengths. As the Vulcans say, Infinite diversity in infinite combinations. Interesting. I'd be curious to meet one of these Vulcans. If this is the best you have, then so be it. To locate this scion, Galvan, I'll need full access to your ship's systems. Full access? Huh. You must be out of your mind. No. I'm right here. Completely in my mind. Given this is merely a research ship, I won't be able to find him without it. Perhaps I should have made that clear up front. I'll need to make certain modifications. That shouldn't be a problem. Excellent. Solano's gonna flip when he hears this. I'll see you on the bridge. Captain Solano, I'd like to introduce you to Portal 63, Guardian of the Takan Empire. Pleasure to meet you, Captain. Likewise. I can't say I've ever met a portal before. There is no modern equivalent. Not within the Federation, at least. He's been kind enough to agree to help us find Galvin. I am at your service. To whatever extent I can be of help. If nothing else, I'm sure you're happy for a change of scenery. You spent 600,000 years at your post. That certainly takes an uncommon level of dedication. We all have our duty. Of course. But I'm curious. You were stationed there in preparation for what exactly? Any and all threats to the Empire. An Empire that no longer exists, which suggests you weren't very successful. You said you needed my help. I didn't come here to be insulted. Perhaps that was a mistake. I'd be happy to return to Delphi Ardu at any time. You'll have to forgive him. I'm sure he meant nothing by it. I know exactly what he meant. 
His disrespect speaks for itself. I'm merely curious where your allegiances might lie. Clearly it's with the Takan. Yes, Captain. You have found me out and exposed my true loyalties to the Takan, not to the Scions of the Flame, who do nothing more than tarnish us in name and reputation and don't deserve to be called Takan. That's why I'm here. And if you'd be so kind as to give me access to your ship's systems, we can get on with it. And you can stop wasting my time. Access to our systems? That's completely out of the question. Tell me that's not what you promised. We're vulnerable enough as it is. And now we're supposed to give him access to everything? Ridiculous. Captain, I know it's a risk. But right now it's our best shot at finding Galvin and that ship. Here she was, naive enough to believe it wouldn't be a problem. Little did she realize the levels of ignorance and incompetence she was up against. If you're not enjoying your visit to our ship, we'd be more than happy to let you wither away back on your pathetic little rock. Captain? You clearly do not appreciate the magnitude of the threat the science pose. So myopic is your focus on your own ego. I will not be leaving until they have been found. Commander Ryder, a word. Waited 600,000 years for this. You realize this puts me in an incredibly difficult position. I was against seeking him out from the start, but now, to give him access to our systems? It's insane. And you somehow expect me to believe his allegiance is with us? You heard what he said in there. There's no way we can trust him. I might otherwise agree, but you're missing the most important point. He's a Takan, and he may be loyal to the Takan, but not to the Scions of the Flame. He's against everything they believe in. You heard what he said. There's too much at stake to be wrong on this. We sought him out for a reason. To help him find our missing crew, Galvin, and those Elidian ships. This is the plan we agreed to with Ambassador Spock. Which I never liked. But here we are. You know what this mission means to us. Not just for the Federation. But for me personally, I can't afford another screw-up. Losing the shield algorithms was bad enough. This... This could be the end of my career. We'll take every precaution to make sure we get what we need. I'll keep a close eye on him myself. I appreciate that. I'm going to trust your instincts on this one. I just hope you're right. For both of our sakes. Let me know if you find anything. We're good. You may begin. I will, of course, have to make a few modifications. What kind of modifications? To find Taconian technology requires Taconian technology. If this Cyan Galavan modified his ships, then I must do likewise to yours. <laughs> The galaxy is nearly infinite in size and complexity. This may take a moment. How long I will found it something. There you are. What is it? Galvin? Someone is using Taconian technology. I can't get the precise bearings, but it's located in the Palisades cluster. I'll let the captain know. Rydic to Solano. I think Portal may have located Galvin. I'll be right there. I'm getting all kinds of interference. Almost impossible to lock on the energy signature. Where's he hiding? In the Palisades cluster. Interesting. Can you lock in on the location? Not until you get me closer. Lieutenant Handar. Set a course for the Palisades Cluster. Aye, Captain. Well, I suppose I owe you an apology. You were right after all. That's what I get for questioning the advice of my first officer. You always have my back. They say the true measure of a leader is being able to admit your mistakes. So thank you. 
Next time I'll do a better job of listening. Nice work. Let me know if you find anything more. Will do. What's wrong? I didn't want to say anything until I was certain. But the reason for the interference is simple. There's a Taconian device on this ship being used to block the signal. Whoever planted it was exceptionally clever. They knew how and where to hide it. But they have underestimated my abilities. Engineering. Take care of the Taconian device, and I can find Galvan for you. It's designed to interfere with all transmissions, or at least delay and confuse the effort to find Galvan's ship. Hold on. My understanding is that Takan technology requires a Takan to operate. Is there another Takan on this ship? The science could have someone on this ship doing everything they can to stop us from finding Galvan. Don't worry, I'll get this fixed. We're going to find that ship. Engineers would have found this device already if it wasn't well hidden. Better to rely on my tricorder.